you find this type of dog breed content interesting, you're going to love all my videos. In the 14th century, the Vizsla's hunting abilities caught the eye of the Hungarian nobles. And of course, they started using the Vizsla as their preferred hunting dog. But they also developed the Vizsla as a family dog. But the family dog's population took a hard hit during the Hungarian Civil War, which occurred after World War I. Whenever there's a war, just surviving is challenging. So naturally, a dog is secondary. But the Vizslas were some valued dogs, and the breeders barely brought them back. Rumor has it that there were around 12 remaining. And as if that wasn't enough, World War II started in 1939 and basically wiped out the Vizsla breed again. Thankfully, the Vizsla was popular in the region, and collectively the breed could be restored. Like the Vizsla is both a hunter and a family dog, with the Vizsla dog breed, you get a pointer and a retriever in one dog. The Vizsla has a smooth coat, which is called golden rust, which makes sense. Because like gold, the Vizsla looks like an expertly crafted dog that is just tasteful and elegant enough. And the coat even sparkles like gold. At 44 to 60 pounds, 